Welcome back to Flowview Automations. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can e-sign documents in N8N using no code at all. And the way that we're going to be doing that is using something called PDF.co. PDF.co is an amazing um, website that you can use, and it allows you to manipulate um, any type of PDF images that you would like and do various things with them. So in this video, we're going to be using them to help us e-sign documents. So let's get into it. So for the first step, we want a way that we can upload and download our documents. And we're going to be using the Google Drive in this video, but you can use any kind of way that you would like. So first step is we're going to find the Google Drive node, and we're going to do changes involving a specific folder. Once, this, once you set up the account that you would like, you want to go down into here and select the folder that you want to use. We already created one called eSign Documents, so if you haven't already, go ahead and do that now. And once you have that, you want to go watch for File Created. So anytime a file is created within this um, folder, you want to retrieve that one. So we can do a test event and we can see we have some type of output because we have already uploaded our own test document into that folder. Once we have that, we actually want to go ahead and retrieve that document that we just uploaded. So if we go into Google Drive here, we can go to download file. And once we have the same account set up, we actually want to change this from list to by ID. The reason for that is we want to dynamically download the file that we just uploaded each time. So we don't want it to be a fixed file. We want it to upload the new file every time. And now when you're looking for the ID over here in the, the left side, you want to be careful which with, with which one you grab. You don't want to just grab the first ID you see. Even though it looks tempting, you want to actually find the ID that is attached specifically to the file you uploaded. So if you keep scrolling down, you'll actually see the file name here. And we'll know that because it's under the name, it has .pdf, and you can see that there is an ID associated directly with it. So that's the ID that we want to grab over and put into here. We can test that step, and we can see that we have a document uh, retrieved for us. So we'll go ahead and download that document so you guys can take a look at what it looks like. And this is the test example we'll be using today. This is a basic purchase order, which has uh, some different kind of things on it, which are not really important today. But what is important is this box right here. So this section here you can see is usually where the signature and authorization will go. And today we want to focus directly on how we can add an e-signature into this um, file box right here. So once we have the file that we got from the Google Drive, we now want to have a way where we can make a request to that API of PDF code. So we'll make a simple HTTP request. And here you can see there's a few different ways you can do this. You can actually go ahead and go to the documentation. We want to go to PDF add, and you can go through a bunch of different payloads and different examples and find one that is going to be specific to your use case. Um, but for us, we already have one that was already specifically built. So we're just going to import that over. And we'll take a look inside of what it looks like. So if you see here that we have um, our account set up, so this is where our API um, it's kind of set up our password and everything. So if you want to know how to do that, there should be a different video down below of how you can actually set that up. And if you keep going down, you can see the URL we have is the PDF edit dash add, which adds up with this one right here. And you can kind of see the um, example payload that we have down here. So right now it's going to ask us for the URL that we want. So the URL of the PDF that we want to use, and that's the one that we uploaded to the Google Drive. And then over here, we also have some text that we want to add. So we can have this dynamic, but for now, we're just going to set up with some basic test, um, text, which we'll do testing, testing. So for now, we'll have testing, testing. I'm not sure why that was still red. Um, just to kind of show you some type of example. So I already showed you kind of what the document looks like before. And you can kind of just go ahead and copy all of this down below and use whatever you would like. Or like I said before, you can go into the PDF code and actually import any type of curl that you would like. So now that we have this, we can actually go ahead and test this step out. It does take a few seconds, but it actually is not too slow, um, all things considered. So we'll give it a second here. And then once we have the output, we can actually see that there is an URL provided. Now, keep in mind, we did not adjust any of this text. We just threw this all in. Um, but like I said, I already have this pre-made to um, work with the document that we uploaded. So if we actually go take a look at that here, we can see directly in the box that we provided, 
was the testing testing text that we had and we can see that it works pretty good and now not every document is going to be the same if you have it set up to be specific for your kind of company there's different ways that you can kind of play around with this here and we'll take a look into that right now if you go back to here we open this up you can see there's a few numbers so we only focused really on the text but now we want to know how we can actually arrange or align the text wherever we want on the page you can see there's an x and y coordinate here and this is pretty much exactly where it's going to happen and this will tell the uh, api server where you want to put your text and now sometimes it's hard to figure out where the x and y is but what's nice about pdf co so if, if you go down here you can actually do something called a pdf inspector so if you upload one of your um, files that you want so we'll upload the one here you can actually play around with it and see exactly where you want your signatures to be and it'll tell you where it is so if you see up here there's a coordinate or a position i guess they would call it and you can move your mouse around and it'll tell you the different coordinates of the x and y's on the page so for us we want it to be in the middle or we want to move it around but regardless we know we're in the range of 520 to 87 and you know you can move it around and play around with it and see however you want it what's very important to note as well is however you have your alignment if your alignment is to the left you want to line it up to be exactly on the left here or as close as possible because that's where the text will start now say you had the alignment to be in the center then yes you want to have your x and y coordinates to be more towards the center because it's going to be spacing out from there so that's kind of something up to you and you can choose whatever you would like now when it comes to some other customizations you can do it's going to be some things down here the one of the main things is the transparency in my opinion is because this will add either a color text box behind your text or leave it completely blank i prefer to have it completely transparent but if you change this to false then you can also have some type of blank space behind your text as well and the last thing would be the color and the font style of course and the size so you can kind of play around with this and take a look at um, what it would look like and even over here you can actually add a text as well so if you want to drag this down you can actually add a text and you can change the font you can change the size so you can kind of know what it would kind of to be out, come out come out to be so over here we can add in our testing testing and it's going to tell us exactly the coordinates that it's there we can choose the color we can choose the size so we can do 14 and we'll click save and it'll kind of give us an idea of what it would look like to be honest it doesn't always turn out the same like i'm not sure how this works like that well but you get a very general like very good estimation at least of where your text is going to be and you can kind of play around with it and tweak it around how you choose but from there you can kind of see how it's all done and the last step on the api call is going to be down here the name so this is the output name of your file you can change this around to be whatever you want but for us this was a test purchase order so we're just going to call it approved purchase order because it was signed off now this looks pretty basic right what if you need it to have some type of dynamic way to find the person's name and attach their specific signature and we're going to show you how you can do that as well all right so now if you want to have this to be some type of dynamic system where you'll actually will scrape the information off the document and add the according signature i'm going to show you how to do that now so we'll quickly detach this um, api call and we'll push it to the side for now to be used for later but for now like i said we want to extract some information from the document so since we have the document already uploaded and retrieved for us by the system we can actually go ahead and grab an extract from file node this uh, node is very useful um, because it will extract all the information from whatever file that you have here for us it's a p oh, sorry it's a pdf file so we can actually just go ahead and change that in here so extract from pdf we're going to input the binary field name here which is the corresponding name there all looks good and we can go ahead and test that if you look down here it's going to um, output all of the information that we had in that document into one big text um, pick one big text paragraph so that being said it's not kind of structured in the way that we want so we actually want to add in some type of way to structure that data and we're going to use open ai to do that so over here we're going to message a model and you can go ahead and customize this but we kind of already have done this before like i said so to save some time we're just going to go ahead and copy in 
our model here. So if we open this up, there's a few things that you will take a look at. So obviously the first steps would be um, adding in your account, choosing the model, and then over here we have um, the system role. So there's a three things you can choose from, user, assistant, or system. We wanna choose the system to kind of give it some type of way to understand of what it's doing. We're kind of keeping it very simple for this one because we just we don't have too many intricate things that we wanna grab from the document. We really just want the sales rep name. So we just kind of said you're an intelligent bot that is great at extracting data from text. Here's the information you need to extract. Down here, we actually provide that document. So we change that role to user. Then that's the text that was completely uploaded. And then down here, we have some type of structure. So if we open this up, this is probably the most important one out of it all. So we're going to ask it, please output the following in JSON data as structured. All of this information is kind of, it's not important for us, but this is just a basic JSON structure for any type of invoice or purchase order that you may have. But what's important for us is the sales rep name right here. If we go back to the document, we said that we want to have some way that we can find whatever the sales rep name is. And based on their approval, we want to add their e-signature in here. So we'll go ahead and make sure that we have the sales rep there and we can test that step. Once we wait for that output there, we'll just drag this over, open it back up and we can see a bunch of output, um, a bunch of data was outputted for us. And like I said, a lot of this is uh, not useful because it's not even on the document anyways. But what's important is that we got the sales rep name. And now once we have that sales rep name, we can show you, now that we have that sales rep name, we can see how we can find that um, user ID dynamically. So now that we have our data structured for us by the AI agent, we can actually go ahead and um, find that person based on their ID. So we're gonna be using Airtable in this specific use case, and we'll take a look into our Airtable on how the, uh, the data is structured. So you can see in here, this is a bunch of test random names that could be potentially showing up on the document and attached to each one would be the signature, which is just basically the first and last name of each person. So once we go back into here, we can go search for Airtable node. We'll go search records and we want to make sure that we have the uh, right account set up. So you can go ahead and do that. We'll choose our base. And we'll choose the table, which for us is the only one in the in the file and we'll have it based on the user ID. So once we have that, we want to filter by formula. So if we take a look into here, we know that our field name is name and that's the name that will be um, corresponding to the one on the document. So we'll filter by formula. We've already had this done. So we'll just um, import it in name equal to whatever the dynamic name is here. So if we test that step, we can see how it returns our signature now. So just based on the name that was provided, we now have a signature for that person. And that's the one that we can add onto this document now. So if we go back and open up the PDF, um, PDF Co API call, we can replace this testing text with the actual person's name. So we remove that. You want to make sure you keep the quotations. We'll go ahead and simply just drag over the signature. Nice and easy. And if we go ahead and execute that, we can take a look on how this is done. What's nice about PDF Co as well is that they, they give you 10,000 free credits to start. And honestly, they go a long way, depending on how much you use it, obviously, but you can test it a lot and on, it does not take that much. So I highly recommend to use them. They're very fast, very good, and they give you those initial credits, like I said, and it's not too expensive to add on more anyways. So if we go back here, we can see that there's already an output for us. We'll go ahead and grab that. And you can see now, instead of testing text, it's actually the corresponding signature to that person's name. And you can see it's kind of an e-signature format, just like any other document would be. Now that we have the file that's e-signed, we want a way that we can actually retrieve it from the API. So we're gonna do another HTTP request node. We're gonna keep it to get, and we're simply just going to drag the URL of the file that we got. We can go ahead and test that and see that we have the file that was signed. Once we have that file that is signed, we can upload it to wherever we want. In our case, we're just gonna re-upload it back into the Google Drive, but you can upload it anywhere you need. So we'll go into the Google Drive, we'll click Upload File. Make sure the uh, binary name is the same here as data. We can choose a new name for this file, which is nice um, because in the schema, 
um, the API from PDF code, they actually return the PDF name for you as well. So you can just simply drag that over, choose the file that we you want. We have one called sign documents. So initially it was uploaded to eSign documents. The final documents will be uh, returned into the sign documents. And we can execute that step and see that the file has been uploaded and sent off. So that's how you eSign documents in N8N using no code at all. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Or if you have anything that you would like to see in the future videos, please comment them down and we'll make sure to add that in. Thank you for watching and have a great day.